Most agencies lose 30 to 50% of the potential revenue they can make because their sales process is slow, manual, and stuck over making custom proposals. So to fix this, we just built and shipped a CRM for one of our seven figure clients that reads your inbox, builds proposals automatically, calculates price, creates the contract, sends the invoice, and it's all done automatically. Let me show you how it works and how this could help you if you're considering a new CRM. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sean Ross. I'm the founder of Big Figure Agency. And recently we came out and rebranded as the world's first AI consulting firm for marketing agencies. We've been working on this in stealth mode for over the past year. And now after having a lot of great case studies and social proof, we are live. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let's actually show you what we built, what the situation was. So to dive right into it, what I'm showing you is the CRM for the client we just built. And uniquely, this client is actually not a digital marketing agency. So I like to show this use case because it actually provides a lot of unique points that this company needed. They build custom cabinetry on the West Coast. They're a mid seven figure business. And there's just a lot of uniqueness to their operation that we had to tailor and accommodate that I think you could learn a lot from. So as you see their initial frame here, right? So we have their basic CRM, we've filtered out everything. Um, we made a custom example, one of my team members did. Uh, we have the different sections, right? We have leads, qualification, pricing, factory pricing, etc. So let's go through this. So the way we generate this, this founder wanted to generate bids and proposals directly from his email. So he's getting emails from prospects, from people reaching out to him because on his website, it's email me. And a lot of the information that's gathered comes from email. So the specific request from this company was, can you turn my emails into bid proposals? And our answer was yes. So going into this, everything we built here on the left is custom. So when you're using Go High Level, the thing that I love about each card or each record, you could customize every single field. So the first custom, one of the first customization is project details. And their project details, they need to have address, project type, is it a single family, multi-family, commercial building, how many units, square footage, parking, like there's so many variables here. So when we intake with anyone building their CRM, what are the variables of the project, of the scope, of the contract we need to know that we could use to actually build a custom scope? This could either be extrapolated automatically from email, from transcript, from phone call, it's really however you want to do it. Now, when we move to the next section, contract inputs, this company works with a offshore factory and the way they build their pricing is the factory will give them a quote based on the specs that they send to the factory. So they go in, they do measurements, they get square footage, they get how many cabinets they are going to install. And then they send all this to the factory. The factory will tell them how much it will cost. They will have a markup on that price. So for contract inputs that will automatically generate a contract, we, we just fill in these inputs that we later come back to, and it's going to spit out a contract amount. Now, once we get all this information and what's unique about this, which we're not going to go into because, because this is in my customers Slack and email, we built integrations to integrate with both of them. We're not going to go share their email, their inbox or Slack, but the things that we, they requested is, can you extrapolate from the emails of my factory automatically input the price, automatically calculate all the pricing factors. And then all we have to do is move the card over to price calculation. And then it's going to automatically run on its own to calculate price. Once we move the, the card over to the next section, what is going to happen here is all of these data points, how much we need to charge the client on deposit, how much we need to charge them on shipment, on delivery. Basically all these sections are custom, just basic formulas, but it's automatically going to calculate. So one thing you don't want your sales team to have to rely on, if you're doing custom quotes or scopes, can you have some algebraic formulas that automatically net out a good result? And in this case, it is. So just going to quickly update it. And you can see here, this took a minute, but when it was updated, all these data points were automatically updated. So you can see this is a high revenue business. Like, the deposit from the client is gonna be over $100,000. So this is a very serious company. Once we have the data imported and we just QA to make sure it's correct, we're moving it over to proposal drafted. At this point, we're gonna be sending the contract to the customer to really move things forward. Now, this happens automatically. If we click payments, we click documents, you're going to see here that there is an automatic draft that's just ready to go for the proposal. So once we're actually in the contract, as you can see here, all that data from the proposal is now in the contract. So we don't have to manually do anything. It automatically calculates, it automatically creates a custom scope that's automatically gonna be sent to the prospect. In this instance, right, we moved it to proposal drafted that gave a proposed 
contract. This company wants it to have the ability to QA their contracts before it sends. It's not required, but in this instance, we move it to proposal drafted and then we move it to proposal sent. That's automatically going to send the customer the custom proposal that requires zero human input. And just to show you, right, the, the final components, right, building these custom scopes make it really so easy for any company because we move it to proposal sent, we move it to negotiations, contract signed, every single thing will trigger the next automation to onboard them, to send them email notifications. Go High Level truly makes it really simple. So this is exactly why I use Go High Level. I recommend Go High Level for any company. I think Go High Level is one of the best, if not the best CRM for marketing agencies, uh, whether it's their pricing, whether it's their ease for customization or their ability to make things scalable, especially as it comes to AI, which we're gonna talk about that in a second. So if you're interested in, going, in using Go High Level, make sure you check out the link below where you could sign up and get going on your own custom CRM. Just to show you how the rest of this works, when we move the contract to deposit invoice sent, if we go to payments, you can see here that there is a pending invoice amount exactly queued up. So if you click into it, you can see here, right? You could do invoicing from Go High Level. A lot of companies do. This company is doing invoicing there. So you could have end-to-end -end solution, end-to-end -end payment collection, literally everything. It's all in one platform. So if that's something you want, the options there, this company, this client of ours, they wanted it. So this is how to build end-to-end. -end. And as I mentioned, I love Go High Level. If you need help building your CRM to make it AI enabled, make sure you go to eightfigureagency.co where we could help you. If this video added value, make sure you click subscribe. Now, if you stick around for just a few more minutes, I'm gonna talk about why Go High Level, in my opinion, is probably the best CRM that makes building an AI enabled company easy. So as I mentioned before, we're currently the world's only AI consulting for marketing agency. So we're investing over 2000 hours a month into AI development. And what's happening is platforms are trying to safeguard their IP. CRMs are trying to make it harder to have an API into a server or an API into NADN to make it easy to build custom AI because these platforms make their money by having you stay in there. I love Go High Level because their API is wide open. It's very easy for us and my development team to extrapolate any data, any information, and then for us to bi-directional you know, data flows to the data flow out of the CRM for us to build any custom agent or workflow, it's very easy. The second thing is, if you've seen any of my prior content, one thing that we build for all of our clients, we call it the brain. It's an MCP server that has a lot of different databases. And inside these databases lives all of your company data, all of your CRM context, all of your CRM information, every email, literally everything. And kind of going back to point number one, it's really important that you work with a platform that makes it easy to extrapolate and then constantly update what is going on in your brain. So this central repository, as we call it, needs to have things built in a specific type of schema or a specific type of organization. So still having a CRM is going to be important for you know, an AI enabled company and being able to, like I said, have that easy integration, go high level, NADN, agent, and then going back to feeding things back into go high level, it makes it very easy. Now I could keep going. I'll probably make a separate video kind of going through every single reason, but AI is here. And it's really important that if you are in a place where you are changing CRMs and you are customizing your CRM, you're working in a platform that's gonna make it easy for you, like this seven figure business had, to be an AI first company. And that's why I like Go High Level. I hope this video added value. And if you wanna get insight into the custom workflows we built in the last month that will add millions of dollars in profits to our clients, make sure you check out this next video. Thank you.